Hey, Mike here with Canadian Musician. Uh, we're here in Toronto Revolution Studios, and with me is Leon and Matt on the end there from Australian Rockers, The Lazies, and in between, uh, you may recognize him, Ian from Billy Talents, Canada's Zone. Uh, well, guys, uh, I could go into the explanation myself, but I don't even know the full story, to be honest. So let's, let's start with why, well, you guys are all together in here at Revolution in Toronto. Sure. Uh, first started when we did Canadian Music Week last year. Ian uh, showed up to the Bovine Sex Club to um, to watch us perform, and uh, we became friends after that, and decided to uh, do some work together. Um, middle of last year, yeah. we did our first single with Ian, was yeah. co-written called "Shake It Like You Mean It," and uh, that's going pretty well here in Definitely. in Canada. And uh, yeah, we just we've come back to now. Um, take a further step with Ian, he's producing our next single and uh, also co-writing it and yeah, here we are, man. Yeah, th these uh, these guys I were uh, <laughs> basically like ref like referred to by uh, uh, this guy named Bernie Schick, who's uh, our uh, our biggest uh, promoter and friend in Germany and uh, and our agent Ralph James are like, you have to go check out this band at Kennedy Music Week. So they told me they were playing at uh, 3 a.m. at the Bovine. I'm like, who plays at 3 a.m.? Yeah. They yeah. must be a hardworking band. <laughs> and uh, so I showed up, and they just they really they literally blew my mind. Like I, I hadn't seen a band this good in easily five years. And uh, we ended up uh, chatting after the show for some avo frothies <laughs> they, that's what the, that's what you call afternoon beers in uh, in australia frothies. for beers frothies, yeah frothies man. yeah and uh, we just hit it off and and so right after that uh, we started working on a song which ended up becoming shake it like you mean it yeah. and uh and now we're here doing a song that uh we're going to be putting out soon called black rebel Nice. And the, uh, well, I want to get into this new song, Black Rebel, but first, because Shake It Like, I, like You Mean It, got it got significant attention in Canada, got a lot of spins on rock radio across the country. And when you guys met, even when you started, did it start off as a jam as we're actually going to write a song for an album? Was it more informal than that? Like, how did that develop? Started off as beers at Ian. <laughs> <laughs> It, Lots of yeah, bees. <laughs> it really did, yeah. It yeah, it was, it was, it was uh, so fun. This song kind of came together. Like, these guys already had a, an idea of, of the song and uh, and uh, the, 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 some of the lyrics in the chorus. So it was, it was uh, they literally, we, we knocked it out in a, in a yeah. night, night or two, mm. right? Really? We, we yeah. came back to Canada, I think, July after Canadian Music Week and um, met up with Ian. And, I, yeah, we did. We, we knocked it out in probably two or three days in, in um, BT Studios. Yeah. Yeah. And then they went over to uh, Vancouver and recorded with Garth. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, it's kind of on that point. Like you mentioned, uh, Garth is Garth Richardson, yeah. a very well known go. Canadian producer. <laughs> and. Uh, What's up, Garth? What's up, Garth? <laughs> What's going on, Garth? I love you, Garth. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got an Australian accent now, by the yeah, way. Yeah. Just hanging out with these guys for <laughs> four days. I literally, yeah. it's, it's hard not to shake now. It's crazy. <laughs> shake it. Shake it. We, yeah. we impersonate the Canadian accent and you do the Australian accent. It's good. <laughs> but with this whole, like, you guys have, aside from me and, and also Garth, you guys, uh, I saw Eric Ratz, another well known Canadian producer, in the other room uh, today. Uh, you guys have also, on your debut uh, self titled full length, you also wrote with the McDonald brothers from mm -hmm. The Trues. Yeah. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of Canadian connections yeah, going on yeah. with you guys. Like, well, sure. what, yeah. does that all stem from last year's CMW? Like, where is all this coming from? Oh, yeah. 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 Well, yeah, yeah, for sure. Like a big part of Canadian Music Week is that, you know, for sure. But our man manager, Jeff Trio, uh, has been to Canada quite a few few, few times and yeah. has heard of, of, of the Trues. And uh, so... Worked with the Trues. Worked yeah. with the Trues, sorry. And um, I guess that he, he was like, you kind of really should should meet, yeah. meet, meet these guys, you know. They've, mm. They're respected Can Canadian artists, I guess, and um, have worked for years from what i hear and um yeah we wrote a, a song hard luck uh with colin and ja it was yeah we just caught up with them recently in town as well yeah. did some more writing so yeah i so many so many cool people have taken notice to our band from canadian music week and um for that we're so grateful and yeah to be sitting next to <laughs> old dasar here well it's a good old buddy canadian mus <laughs> musicians tend to uh be attracted to other really good musicians because they have yeah, good taste and you guys are phenomenal Thanks, phenomenal band phenomenal 
musician, so that's uh, uh, that's why a lot of people are. Don't leave me hang, man. I don't see him there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> for, for you guys, like Leon and Matt, like from what I gather, generally speaking, you guys are the co-songwriters in the yeah. band. But obviously, you brought in Ian for a song. You brought in John Angus and Colin mm-hmm. from the Trues. Uh, how does the dynamic, the writing dynamic, change for you guys when you bring in a third party like yeah, that? Yeah, right. It's a cool thing. Yeah, it's um. It's it's something that I don't think we'll ever go back on now. I mean, Matt and myself have been writing songs since we were... Uh, kids. Yeah, kids, like, you know, 17 onwards. And, um, you know, took them so far, took the live show so far, and now we've entered this next level, I guess you could call it. It's, yeah, how can you say no to working with such amazing people? And, you know, anyone else um, who we meet along the way and things like that, you know, if, if the dynamic's there, why not work? Mm. You know, it's... Mm. It's great. You learn a lot, I find as well. Like mm. we we can only you know work so much together, and, yeah. and we we sure like we learn from each other, but we're always in this box, you know. So when you bring in a third third person, a whole yeah. a whole new dy- dynamic, and you learn I learn a lot. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, yeah. ends of. Fantastic songwriter, obviously one of the most successful songwriters out, out of Canada and in the, you know, in this part of the world. So, uh, <laughs> um, it's funny. It's funny. I said that once to a girl. Don't leave me hanging, and she said, "I never leave a man hanging." <laughs> Can you believe that? I couldn't believe it. <laughs> so, yeah. So be careful when you say that. So, to get back to uh, (laughs) Uh, this is why group interviews can be more fun. (laughs) And uh, to get back to why you guys are here today, uh, Mm -hmm. sorry, the song you're recording today, you say it was called Black Rebel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is it tentative title? Tentative tentative title. title. And is it another co-write with Ian here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, off the back of Shaker, like you mean it, we um. We thought it was a fantastic thing. We're only over this side of the world mm-hmm. for a certain period, so yeah, we've got to get busy while we're here. So yeah, yeah and also Ian, I mean, I'm still learning the whole producer co-write thing, yeah. but yeah, Ian's just like he's producing it um, and co-written it with us. We Riddle. we spent hours on Skype. Um, yeah. over it's, really, <laughs> it's really hard to write a song with a band from Australia <laughs> over Skype because not only is it, is it over Skype, there's like the 16 hour time difference. Oh, yeah, so it's like yeah. I'll be just finishing my day and then he's just getting up with his morning coffee, like, <laughs> all right, ready to go. And I'm like, all right, here we go. Yeah, <laughs> I just want to go to sleep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but a like uh, hundred emails as well. Yeah, a hundred <laughs> emails going up back and forth. But uh, we we pulled it all together and we got a we got a great yeah. song and uh, Wait, it's the wall process actually on Skype writing back and forth or resending each other parts uh, online yeah, like how, how how was it yeah. was that and process talking about it and mainly working on lyrics for the Skype. lyrics yeah. definitely face to face on Skype and yeah. um, the music is hard because there's a delay right yeah. so you can't exactly play yeah, in real yeah. time with another person yeah. 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 So you just record ideas and Matt would do a voice memo here and there. <laughs> <laughs> They're always fun to listen to. <laughs> Driving in the car yeah. going, oh, fuck, I got this great idea. <laughs> <laughs> you like, like, you know, you record it and then and then you like you get home and play and it's shit. It's like, what's, what's, what's the difference, you know? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, totally, yeah, yeah. It's the headspace, I think. This guy I'm went out for beers going. one night. He's like, oh, he's like I, I, I'm going to record vocals over the instrument you sent me. And the mic was so distorted. I was just like, I can't hear anything. I don't know if you really realize. But it was just blow. It was like completely yeah, it was distorted. It was super it was funny. <laughs> and you paused the re- reverb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give away my Great. secrets. <laughs> uh, we were like. Leon, being the singer, yep. do you take the lead on the lyrics, or Ian, are you contributing um, lyrics, or how's it? Oh, we're working, we're working pretty well, fifty-fifty yeah. on everything. I said that to Ian, you know, like God, you're working with someone who's so far up the yeah. the food chain, so to speak. Um, but I still, yeah, I still really want to be involved with the lyrics. I'm singing. One thing I did say to Ian was that I've got to deliver this every night, you know, well, um, while he's sipping martinis. So. Ah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so yeah, I've got to be. I've got to have um, my you know influence in yeah. there, hundred percent. Wait, will you say like if it's say a phrasing, you're just like no, that's just not my the way I, I would say it, my personality, or maybe it's just not in your vocal range. Like, well, it comes down to personality as well. We, we you know we get along so well that generally we're going in the same yeah. the same yeah. direction. So phrasing and all those sort of they're minuscule sort of things. Yeah. It's more like concept and you know having oh, i really like this line and it's really sums me up as a person or something like that you know yeah. like that's yeah. where and it's also understanding like where these guys are coming from yeah. as opposed to where i am in yeah. my life and my career yeah. Yeah, because yeah, uh sure. these guys are, are kind of you know that hard-working band that that were at the same stage where yeah. billy talent was maybe about 10 years ago and uh that's that needs to be conveyed lyrically as well you know not really my my experience yes. but, but their experience and Absolutely. that's that's what uh, i think we really captured in this song for the lyrics that's, mm. a, that's an interesting point i didn't think about like is has been working with these guys has it brought you back um i don't know how to put it like has it brought you back mentally to a point where you where billy towel would have been <laughs> we, we were literally uh, yeah. the same funny seinfeld episode dudes yeah. that these guys are <laughs> Like 10, 12 years yeah. ago. It's, it's just, yeah. it's uncanny. I, I actually, um, <laughs> I, I'm staying with Ian and I watched one of their earlier documentaries. Yeah. Like, Candy from Travelers, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and man, it's, it literally is the same band getting on the same crappy van, going through all this sort of, you know, process, taking wrong turns, getting pissed, doing all stupid yeah. stuff. Well, only my cell phone is this big. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I couldn't believe the the difference in mobile phones. Like Ben, their singers doing a phone interview in the van, and this thing's got an aerial like that long. We're going back ten years, man. If you watch movies, I find that's always what dates. I don't even ask that How question. That How did you pocket? watch porn, man? <laughs> no data back then. Don't, yeah, don't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> the, the song uh, that you guys are working on today is the plan for it to be a one-off single is it going to be part of a forthcoming lp or ep what's the plan for it i'm pretty sure tentatively the plan is that it's gonna go it's gonna tack on to the next print of our record okay. so i mean look all i can say is being an upcoming band aspiring band you've got a band and mold to to just a you know there's no set format you've got to just keep moving forward and that, that this is our path and that's what's happening but um yeah we we're going to be writing we're, we're already writing for another album but you know we've got a bit to go before we get to that point yeah but you guys have been touring pretty constantly it seems over the last year do you guys write are you the kind of guys that like writing on the road or find it conducive to writing on the road I, well yeah, yeah. it's, it's weird. <laughs> Like, like, there's there's a lot of mornings where you wake up and you just wouldn't even want to pick up a guitar, yeah. you know? Like, yeah, yeah. And then there's moments in the van where you, you're just so blank and you just stare out the window and you yeah. can't even come up with stuff. But then maybe, like, on, on our last trip, like, the title, Hard Luck, like, we went to the Hard Luck Bar. Yeah. And, yeah, and, we're, awesome. and we were like, oh, that would be a pretty cool, cool name for a song, you know? So moments like that, I think you kind of... Mm. Yes, you do write sometimes, but not... Not a lot. Yeah, and we've also, like, both times we've been to Canada and, Canada and toured, we've had riding parts of the trip and then touring parts. And, yeah. you know, like Matt said, mm -hmm. when you're hungover, man, you don't want to you don't want to lift a spoon, let alone a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Especially because you know I mean? I'm always in the toilet, just kind of... <laughs> 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 To, to uh, I guess, return back to, I guess, rewind back to last year's CMW or Canadian Music Week. Mm -hmm. uh, it seemed like, like you guys were mentioning, a lot of the momentum has been generating from what started there. And you guys, from what I read, I think you guys did three shows, three showcases in less than a day or in less yeah, than yeah. 24 hours last That's year. True, <laughs> and, uh, 23 hours. Yeah. 23 hours. And uh, I believe you guys got a worldwide management deal out of it if i'm not mistaken yeah, with bumstead and yeah, we did a bit of stuff like yeah. that yeah yeah so like cmw's approaching again this year we talk uh, with a lot of emerging bands about how to make the most of these mm -hmm. kind of opportunities so seeing a band like you guys who certainly made the most of that opportunity like what did you guys do like if you could take from that experience what could you tell people about doing about doing that taking advantage listen take every opportunity we had a 3am show come in like the day before our supposed showcase and we just went you know fuck it let's do it yeah. like we have to take every opportunity and that really started the momentum um we had a great manager from australia who had a lot of jeff as matt said had a lot of connections in in toronto 
who who brought people to the show. So I I guess it's just about um you know networking. Everyone should be approachable. If you're not, or, you know. Yeah go away so everyone <laughs> everyone should be approachable and and if you've got we're something done. yeah <laughs> we're, done. We're, we're done here <laughs> um go on go on no um yeah so get in there meet people and i guess yeah play hard and if if you have the right people watching you you know that's that's the way we, we move forward so yeah yeah and these guys ha these guys have a high energy show too so it's not exactly easy for them to to play three shows in one day and have i mean they they killed all three of them i didn't see the first two but everyone that told me about them were i was like how well how are they gonna pull this next one off at 3 a.m sure enough i walk in and maddie's on the bar doing guitar <laughs> solo and these guys are thrashing about the stage and i'm like that's a real hard working band it really 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 like kind of engaged me and and hit me right here where i was like those guys are gonna good things are gonna happen in this band yeah that's yeah. awesome Wait, for Ian, like when it comes to well, obvious friendship between you guys, but Ian having uh, been through it all before with Billy Talent, like uh, I don't want to say it in a way that seems like you're getting up on your soapbox and be like, "This is how we did it," sort of thing. But are you ever saying like taking from your experience in Billy Talent and be like, "This is what worked for us," or uh, especially you know, Canada's not an easy place to tour, as you certainly yeah, know. It's a for, well for rock music right now too. I mean, yeah. rock is not exactly like at the peak of the charts. You know yeah. what I mean? So so it's even harder, and that's why. From our experience of uh, what we went through, it was it was very similar. There was uh, a time where what we were doing was not on the radio yet, and uh, then bands like us and Alexis on Fire kind of pushed through that, and we ended up getting on the radio. And uh, it's kind of come around full cycle again. There's you don't hear bands like the Lazies that often on the radio these days on modern rock, and that's one of the things that we're we're going to try to change here. Well. I'm going to end this with uh, kind of put you guys on the spot here just because I think it'd be fun, but doing the whole right. cliched Canadian Australian thing here. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to put you on, well, Madeline Ann on the spot as far as what's your favorite. I, 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 I know what you're going to ask. What's your favorite ACDC song? No, no, okay. I, I, <laughs> well, I can tell me that. That's the equivalent to no. you for me is how do you do your hair? <laughs> Yes. I was actually going to consciously go this whole interview without bringing up ACDC. Oh, oh. Uh, so, no, 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 no. Sorry, man. I'm, 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 I'm stuck. No, I was going to say, what's, you, what's your guys' favorite Canadian album or artist? And Ian, for you, do you have a favorite Australian uh, album or artist? Australian for me? Yeah. Uh, well, it would probably have to. It would be ACDC. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> it would be ACDC, 100%. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. ACDC. Killer. I'm gonna say Neil Young. You can't go yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I love Billy Talent, and I also love. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's an easy one. That's an easy one. Come Jesus. on, mate. <laughs> um, I like Brian Adams. I like Big Wreck. We played with them. The Headstones are killer. They're badass. I don't know. I can't. You know, I can't picture. I I, I don't like saying favorites. It's um. There's so much good shit out there. Sorry to rain on your parade there. <laughs> 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 and uh, <laughs> lastly here for Ian, just because I'd probably get fired if I didn't ask, but it's uh But it's been it's been since twenty twelve since we got an yeah. album of new material out of Billy yeah. Talent. Is anything in the works in that regard? Yeah, we've been working every day on an, on uh, new stuff. So we're we're almost we've almost gotten a full record finished and we're planning on basically maybe coming to this place and doing uh drums this fall nice. yeah so we're we're excited to have that out 2016 will be out yeah. right on then. yeah good i've heard some of it it's killer <laughs> really yeah, it's really good am i allowed to say that yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're only allowed to say it sounds like shit no. <laughs> guys i really appreciate thank appreciate you. this it was thank fun you, man yeah cheers, thanks cheers man cheers thanks very much thank you man thank you